Well, hello and how are you? Hey friends, welcome to the Shen Show. I am your host, Senator Briscoe, coming to you from right here in St. Charles, Missouri. Hey, today is Thursday, March the 4th, 2021. Got a happy birthday shout out going out to Amy Herschel, Shen Jane, uh, Shen and Jane that is, Jeff Hollander, uh, Robin Martin, Martinez, Paula Crudwick, and Benjamin D. Fowler. So, without further ado, here is a birthday song for the five of you. So, that would be, hey Amy, hey Shannon, hey Jeff, hey Robin, hey Paula, hey Benjamin, hey, I heard it's your birthday day. So, happy birthday, I must say. You know, uh, I think you're one more year older today. So, happy birthday to you, I say. Hey, Benjamin. Hey, Paula. Hey, Robin. Hey, Jeff. Hey, Shannon. Hey, Amy. Hey, I heard it's your birthday today. Oh, well, that's another trip around the sun that you made. So, uh, you know, I heard you're uh, gonna have a wonderful day, cause, well, it's happy birthday to you today. It's your birthday, it's your birthday, show sure enough is. Hey, I hope you're really enjoying your day, and many more. You cha 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 cha. Alright, that being said, hey, I got some Shinsho likes. That's right, lots of folks likes the Shinsho. Richie Humayardo, Jamie O'Drisco, Martin Kelly, Joyce and Ernie Harrell, Tina, Clee Schulte, Ashbrook, Mike Shane, Mary Gilbuana, Christopher W. Campbell, Leonie Pedereza, Fernandez, Alan Adams, Donald Hussain Burke, uh, Rick Adams, and uh, then there's the Shinsho Shares. That's right, Shinsho Shares like Steve Clary and Lisa Foster. Plus, a uh, pokey pal named Amanda Sue Little. So, hey, those are all folks that are out there doing, doing, doing the right thing by liking the show. All right, how about a weather forecast for the sink? Charles viewing area. Hey, it's about 47 degrees out there right now, which ain't too awful bad. But I tell you what, we're going to have a few passing clouds later on tonight with low temperatures around 30 degrees Fahrenheit, and winds are going to be east to northeast at 10 to 15 miles per hour. And then for tomorrow, Friday, February, I mean, not February, but uh, March. The fifth, we got sunshine and clouds mixed uh, mixed up together, with high temperatures around 52 degrees Fahrenheit, and winds are going to be east at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Partly cloudy skies overnight, with lows around 32 degrees Fahrenheit, and winds are going to be light and variable east, blurly winds at 3 miles per hour. And then March the sixth, Saturday. Partly cloudy skies with highs around 57 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds are going to be light and variable. And then mostly clear skies overnight with low temperatures around 36 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds are going to be light and variable easterly to southeasterly at 4 miles per hour. And then Sunday, February. Uh, February. Why do we keep jumping back into February when it's March? Sunday, March the 7th, partly cloudy skies with highs around 64 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds are going to be south to southeast of 5 to 10 miles per hour, partly cloudy skies overnight with lows around 43 degrees Fahrenheit and winds south at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And then how about Monday? Monday, February, March. March the 8th, sunny skies along with a few passing clouds. Highs are going to be around 69 degrees Fahrenheit with winds south to southwest at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Mostly cloudy skies with lows around 48 degrees overnight. Winds are going to be south to 5 to 10 miles per hour. And then we're going to do March Tuesday 9th. 
Yep, Tuesday, March the 9th. Mainly cloudy skies, highs around 69 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds are going to be south at 10 to 15 mi- or 10 to 20 miles an hour. And then mostly cloudy skies overnight with lows around 56 degrees Fahrenheit. And winds are also going to be south at 10 to 20 miles per hour. And one more day, Wednesday, March the 10th. Cloudy skies early. A few showers developing later in the day. Highs around 69 degrees Fahrenheit with winds south to southwest at 15 to 25 miles per hour. Chances of rain 40%. Higher wind gusts are quite possible. Cloudy with occasional rain showers overnight. Lows around 56 degrees Fahrenheit and winds are going to be south to southwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Chances of rain 60%. And that, my friends, does it for your five-day forecast for the St. Charles Home Viewing Area. All right. Hey, you know what? I got a pet peeve. Yes, sir, I do. Um, I wish that people would quit telling me that Senator Biden is the actual president of the United States of America until we get an official count of legal and only legal votes. We do not know who the President of the United States is. It might be Senator Biden, but until we get an official vote count, we don't know. So, I can't refer to him as President of the United States. That's just my pet peeve. It's not going to happen. You can... uh, Say it over and over, all you want to just say it, but until we get an actual count, I'm not going to believe it. All right, all right then. Hey, uh, let's see, here's a song that uh, you can't find the lyrics to. Sorry about that, had to have a drink of water. Um, well, you get out on the highway, headed down a mile away, passing everything in sight. I just pushed it to the max, getting ready to relax, cause it's a, gonna be a Saturday night. Well, I know a place just over the hill, and if you want to have a good time, you will, cause it's a way down south, a way down south. I just across a border, just across a border. I said, oh, way down south, way down south. You don't need a law or order. I don't need no law and order. I want you to get down there, then you'll know. Oh, way down south, it's oh, the way to go. Oh, you can have the false lane, fast lane. I don't want to stress and strain. I'm going to leave it all behind. You get a little lazy. Afterwards you're crazy, and nobody going to mind. No, don't need a lot of cash or a flash car. The folks, they'll take you uh, just as you are. I said, uh, uh, way down south, uh, way down south. Uh, just across the border, just across the border. Uh, way down south, uh, way down south. Well, you don't need a, no drink nor water. You need no drinking water. Uh, no, well, not once you get down there. Uh, then you'll see uh, nothing like a southern hospital. Oh yeah, I said oh way down south, oh way down south, almost to the border, almost to the border, way down south, oh way down south. She knows more than a mama taught her, or more than a mama taught her, all the way from Nashville to New Orleans. Uh, we got cheap talking bellas and Delta Queens. I said oh way down south, oh way down south. Almost to the border, almost to the border, way down south, way down south. You don't need no law and order, you don't need no law and order. Now, once you get down there, uh, then you'll see uh, nothing like them, southern hospitality. Yeah, that was the song lyrics of the intro song uh, from uh, My Cousin Vinny. 
And the thing is, you can't find the lyrics anywhere. Uh, they wrote it specifically for the movie. Anyway, I found them. But that song account, I done some digging. How about this one? This is just one more song. Busted flat in Baton Rouge, waiting for the train. Feeling nearly faded as my jeans. Bobby thumbed the diesel down uh, just before it rained. Rode us all the way to New Orleans. Well, I pulled my harp out of my dirty red bandana. And played her soft while Bobby sang the blues. With them windshield wipers slapping time, I was holding Bobby's hand in mine. And we sang up every song that driver knew. Freedom's just another word for nothing left to lose. And nothing ain't worth nothing, but it's free. Feeling good was his Lord when Bobby sang the blues. And feeling good was good enough for me. Good enough for me and Bobby McGee. Well, from the Kentucky coal to the California sun, Bobby shared the secrets of my soul. Throw all the kinds of weather, Lord, through everything I'd done. Bobby, baby, kept me from the cold. Then somewhere's near Salinas, Lord, I let her slip away. Looking for that home I hope she'd find And I'd trade all my tomorrows for a single yesterday Holding Bobby's body next to mine Freedom's just another word for nothing left loose And nothing ain't worth nothing but it's free the feeling good was easy, Lord, when Bobby sang the blues. And, buddy, that was good enough for me. Good enough for me and Bobby McGee. I said good enough for me and good enough for me and Bobby McGee. All right, my friends, here we go. Uh, how about, how about, um... The Jungle Book. Well, kids, it's time to gather around the old couch and get in front of the old TV. Because it's TV time with the TV Grandpa. That's right, your TV Grandpa right here. Shenandoah Briscoe. Here we go, The Jungle Book. The story is about a man-baby who was found in the jungle by Bagheera the Panther. Well, Bagheera carried the baby boy to his friends, the wolves. And the wolves, they raised the baby as their own. They named him Mowgli. Well, Mowgli turned, learned to take care of himself in the jungle. But Bagheera, the panther, was always nearby, and he was ever ready to protect the little Mowgli. The elephants became his friends. Even the elephant's gruff leader, Colonel Hathath became Mowgli's friend, and it was Colonel Hathath who marched every day at the head of the elephant patrol. Not everyone in the jungle was Mowgli's friend. There was a hungry Akka, the constrictor, and he and his eyes could hypnotize. That's right, hypnotize almost everyone. And his coils could crush almost anything. Mowgli's most dangerous enemy was Shere Khan, the man-eating tiger. Well, Shere Khan was determined to kill the man-cub, Mowgli, before he had a chance to become a man. The leader of the wolf pack decided there was only one way to keep Mowgli safe. The boy must be taken to the man-village. Well, they said Bagheera agreed. Well, that's what they said, you see. 
Now Bagheera agreed to take him there, and Mowgli thought that he and Bagheera were on one where just one another would talk, walk in the jungle. <laughs> what? Missed something there. The leader of the wolf pack decided that to do, to do, to do. the boy must be taken to the man village. They, de they said, and Bagheera agreed to take him there. Mowgli thought that he and Bagheera were on just another walk in the jungle. Then Bagheera told him where they really were going. Well, Mowgli cried, No, no, I want to stay in the jungle. Well, Mowgli would not listen to Bagheera, and he ran into the jungle alone. He was not alone very long. Within minutes, he was befriended by a happy-go-lucky jungle bear named Baloo. Well, after a while, Baloo and Mowgli went swimming in the river. Baloo floated on his back, and Mowgli rode high and dry on the bear's fat tummy. Suddenly, Mowgli was, Mowgli was whisked up in the treetops. A band of monkeys had reached down from an overhanging limb and grabbed him. The monkeys took Mowgli to the ruins of an ancient temple. And there, the king of the monkeys was eating bananas. He was waiting anxiously to see the captive. Tell me of the secrets of man's red fire, King Louis said. But Mowgli didn't know how to make fire. He could not tell the king the secret, even though his very life depended on it. Fortunately, Baloo and Bagheera arrived just in time, as King Louis was getting angry with Mowgli. Quickly, they figured out the way to save their friend. Baloo disguised himself as a lady monkey, but King Louis was not fooled for long. A wild chase followed, and the whole ancient temple was shaken down. There, the three friends escaped. After the trouble with King Louis and his band, Bagheera and Baloo tried to tell Mowgli that there was, there would be even greater danger in the jungle. And once again, Bagheera insisted that Mowgli goes to the man village. No, no, I don't want to go. To the man village, Mowgli cried. Without another word, he disappeared deep into the jungle. Again, Bagheera and Baloo searched for Mowgli, but Shere Khan the tiger found him first, and Shere Khan was furious when Mowgli refused to be afraid of him. He bared his great fangs and leaped and Shere Khan just landed a few inches away from Mowgli, and he landed with a thud, because Baloo had grabbed that tiger's tail, and the big bear had gotten there just in a nick of time, and Shere Khan lashed about, trying to get at Baloo, but the bear hung on, and when Shere Khan could not reach Baloo with his fangs, he tried to shake him loose, and Shere Khan cracked his tail like a whip. Suddenly a storm came up. A lightning bolt flashed down and set a nearby tree afire. Well, Mowgli saw a way to save Baloo. He knew that the one thing Shere Khan feared the most was fire. So Mowgli took a burning branch in his hand and ran towards the tiger. Well, the fire frightened Shere Khan so much that he took off like a rocket. Well, we'll never see him around these parts again, Bagheera sighed in relief. Well, Mowgli, Bagheera, and Baloo promised they never would be parted up by anything again. Just then, Mowgli saw something he had never seen before. Mowgli's story took another twist when he saw a girl.
She was getting water at the pool just outside the man village. That made Mo uh, Bagheera and Baloo very sad. They were sad only for a few moments because they knew Mowgli was doing the right thing. They saw him smile as he picked up the water jug. Then they saw him go along with the girl to the man village. Now Mowgli's friends knew that that's where Mowgli really belonged. They had brought him safely to his new home. And there you have it. That is the story of Mowgli, the Jungle Book story. Okie dokie, kids. That's it. Thanks for tuning in. And as always, you know, Grandpa loves you and would like to keep you. So... Be blessed, my be blessed, my babies. Be blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Okay, looks like it's time for our portion of the program called Our Daily Bread. And our Daily Bread tonight is going to be sponsored by The Bible with Briscoe 2021. The Bible with Briscoe 2021 is a daily reading of the Bible to be completed within one year. Today's reading in the Bible with Briscoe 2021 will be Numbers 31 through 33 and Mark 9, 1 through 29. So don't forget to tune into the Bible with Briscoe 2021 for your daily reading of the Bible. Okay, let's see. Knowing the Father is today's devotion. And how else are you going to get to know the Father but through His Word? That's right. Today's a scripture for knowing the Father is John 14, 8 through 11. Philip said, Lord, show us the Father, and that will be enough for us. And Jesus answered, Don't you know me, Philip? Even after I have been among you such a long time, anyone who has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Don't you believe that I am the Father, and the Father is me? I am in the Father, and the Father is in me. The words I say to you, I do not speak on my own authority. Rather, it is the Father living in me who is doing his work. Believe me when I say that I am in the Father and the Father is in me, or at least believe on the evidence of the works themselves. And so there you go. If you know Jesus, then you know the Father. And if the, you know the Father, then you know Jesus. And the Holy Spirit is within them all. All right. Hey, that uh, looks like the... Uh, into the Daily Bread, which was brought to you today by The Bible with Briscoe 2021. The Bible with Briscoe 2021 is a daily reading of the Bible to be completed within one year. Don't forget to tune into The Bible with Briscoe 2021 to get your daily reading of the Bible. All right, hey, that looks like it's it for to the Shen Show today. Got one more song for you, and that would be Oh, well, goodbye, my friends. It's a uh, time to go. I said goodbye, my friends. It's a uh, time to go. I hate to leave you, but I really must go. So goodbye, my friends. Goodbye. This here has been Shenandoah Briscoe saying hello and how are you? You know, God loves you and so do I. So come back and see me tomorrow because, well, hey, I'll be here and I hope that you are too.